Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I've been away for a while, but yeah, I'm back. So let's dive right in. Today we're going to be talking about how to become a front-end software engineer. Before we get into the video, I'd first like to mention that you can get 50% off your first Code Academy purchase by using a link in the description below. So click the link for 50% off in your first Code Academy purchase. Thank you, Code Academy, for this wonderful discounts we are giving to the Tech Trek community. All right, let's get to the video. So you want to be a front end software engineer? Well, there are three main fundamental things that you need to understand. You need to understand HTML, you need to understand CSS, you need to understand JavaScript. HTML, think of it as the skeleton of every web page. Think of CSS as you know the styling and i mean not think of it as a style it is the styling <laughs> that's what makes the web page you know look nice colors and fonts and all those kinds of things javascript is like the what makes it interactive being able to click a button and something happening and all of those kinds of things making it responsive that is javascript so these are the things that you need to learn and understand to become a front-end software engineer now when it comes to html i think within maybe a weekend if you have the time just crank it out within a weekend or something Don't don't try to memorize stuff just understand what's going on and everything and you're good to go when it comes to css these are the concepts that you need to learn you need to understand at this point okay at this point you can spend your time learning so many things but at this point at this beginning stage these are the things that you need to understand so selectors you know class selectors id selectors all kinds of selectors understand selectors the box model flex box grid and responsive design making your website responsive regardless of the screen size whether it's a phone tablet large screen whatever the case may be that's what responsive design is about flex box and grid are very key principles that you are going to be using for the rest of your career it's very important that you understand flexbox and grid so that's the key concepts in css that you need to understand at this stage you can spend your time like i said learning so many things learning all kinds of fancy animations not be that they pay the bills <laughs> Don't waste your time on all those things at this point do that later but not now all right learn the learn these things right now and you'd be in a very good spot position so after learning html and css you should be able to build a landing page you know some marketing websites for some company or whatever it is um i mean if somebody will pay you to do something for them at this stage sure but don't be expecting you know money right now just build some projects whether somebody sees it or not doesn't really matter you can show it to somebody record the screen just show it around just you know get motivated and excited and all of those kinds of things but build something you are not learning memorizing trying to go and write an exam or something no the exam is your career <laughs> <laughs> the exam is your career so you need to learn build projects it's very important that you build projects whenever you build projects it makes you really number one confident and also know where you need to you know brush up on don't memorize stuff like i said just understand concepts understand principles don't ever feel shy to go online and you know just google something that you learned already it's part of the job even till now we still google things that we learned in the early stages sometimes with time it just becomes second nature but at this stage don't be too worried about that just learn all right even if you have to google it 10 times google it 10 times but make sure that is the actual principle you must understand there's no way around it now at this point you know somebody might be thinking well is it really still important to learn these basic things with the rise of ai and all of this and all of that yes <laughs> It's still very much relevant okay ai is a tool it is a tool no matter the hype no matter whatever it is still a tool a tool that accomplishes a specific task it helps us write code it makes our work easier and everything however it can and does make mistakes also sometimes does not fully understand context very well context as in like reasons why we are doing this or reason why we need to do it like this even though maybe it's not the right thing to do we still need to do this reason why maybe you know there is some complex solution but for now we don't need all of that you just need something simple for this stage if you don't understand these fundamentals and everything you wouldn't be able to check ai's work because you would feel intimidated and think that ai is always right but it's not it makes you know mistakes of course it will get better like with time it's only going to get better but the state that it is now is probably the worst state it will ever be in so definitely going to get better but still i feel like it will still have limitations okay and would still need human oversight 
you'd still need humans to review AI's code and everything. So if the humans don't know how to code, then they'll then there will really really be no jobs because like then it's going to replace humans because if humans don't know how to code, then do you understand? <laughs> Regardless of what's happening with AI, you still need to understand these fundamentals. You can't go around it. You can't go around like you, there's no other way. You have to understand these things. Just that AI would also help you learn these things better, faster, have a deeper understanding and all of that. So after learning HTML, CSS, all of that, you need to understand JavaScript as well. JavaScript is the programming language of the web. It is what powers, you know, any website at all that has any kind of interaction um, is using JavaScript. So you need to learn JavaScript. The key concepts in JavaScript that you must understand if you're going to be a front-end software engineer, you know, that does something. These are some of the concepts that you must understand. Variables, functions, data structures like arrays, objects, loops, for loops, while loops. Never write a while loop without a break statement. Not a break statement, but a statement that breaks out of the while loop. You can try it. You can try writing a while loop. Just if you know how to code, write while true and run that code. Just see what happens. <laughs> if you have a very slow computer, please don't do that. Please, please don't. You also need to learn DOM manipulation. I think DOM is an acronym for document object model. But I may be wrong. But I think that's what it stands for. <laughs> if I'm wrong, sure. But yeah, I think that's what it stands for. DOM manipulation is all about manipulating the DOM. <laughs> it's about manipulating the DOM. Nothing else. All you do in DOM manipulation is that you manipulate the DOM. All right. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> in all seriousness, it's more about uh, actually what's it about? Like I know what it's about, but you know how do I even say it for you? Like just how you would like edit elements and stuff. Insert element, edit elements programmatically. Um, like you know you click a button, you know the button will shake or something yeah or like you know adding to cart for example you click add to cart like the counter was zero then it changed to one you know the changing from zero to one that is DOM manipulation so you need to understand that how to do those kinds of things right here's another example or like you try to sign into a website you type in email and password if the password is wrong there's sometimes there's some error message there you know the field is red they say like password is wrong those kinds of things try again all of that dumb manipulation so if you don't understand dumb manipulation you like you the like you're not you're not a like you don't know javascript <laughs> basically understand events 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 like weddings birthdays <laughs> um no not that not those kinds of events events like click events mouse events like all those kinds of things understand how events work um understand how like event propagation works also forms form validation also you need to really understand how to interact with external websites external applications like through apis how to interact with apis how to make api calls understand promises the entire asynchronous programming in javascript you need to understand those all of those concepts i know i'm mentioning a lot of different things but i mean there's a lot though let me let's know let's nobody lie to you that is not a lot it's a lot <laughs> and you have to learn all, all of them they are all important no you can't leave anything out if you want to get a proper software engineer front end you can't leave anything out it's a a lot yes but you do it you do it you can do it and you do it so don't feel like don't feel intimidated just sit down and learn okay so after learning javascript you should build some projects this is just javascript so the, the project should only be built with javascript and you know html and css don't add any fancy anything like just stick with basic things all right so you can build a to-do list or something interactive to-do list when you click when you check an item of the to-do maybe it crosses it off takes it goes to the bottom like we order it goes to the bottom you can also do like an ai powered quiz app where somebody would enter their interest or select their interest like sports and then or like say football or like american football mixed martial arts and it would you would use ai to generate a quiz based on the person's interests something like that right but don't try to make it overly complicated where it's a quiz with like users and different kind of users and this and that just keep it simple once you can do those basic things you're good to go it means you're understanding what you're doing you can also build some kind of weather app uh, that interacts with the weather api or something like that um yeah so if you can do any of these things deal with um making requests 
access to APIs, all of that, I feel like you are in a very good position. This is what you will need throughout your career. Like the things that you're learning right now, like you're going to need them. So it's very important that you understand them. Very, very, very important. Don't be in a hurry. Just take your time, understand them very well, and then move. After learning all this, guess what? You still have a few more things to learn, all right? But it gets easier, all right? It gets easier. So you need to learn a front end framework so right now you understand all the fundamentals but in real world projects we do not use the fundamentals in their raw state like as they are we use frameworks frameworks are like additional things additional features that we add to the basic things right to make them easier to work with okay like it does not exist on its own outside the fundamental thing it exists with it but it's enhanced you know so you need to learn a front-end framework so for javascript you, you should learn either react or view i recommend learning react because it's the most popular it's usually good to stick with something that is very popular because you are likely to get a job if it's popular it, may, it would mean that more companies more engineers engineering teams are using it so there will be you know more job opportunities in that regard also means that when you get stuck it's easier to find help online because like because it's popular somebody has most likely been through that situation before and has solved it hopefully so you know you can learn from the person so learn react and for the css side you can learn tailwind css or material ui i would recommend just sticking with tailwind is really amazing i really love using tailwind just stick with tailwind learn tailwind if you go join a company and they use something else no big deal just easily switch when i was kind of working doing freelance work working with other companies and things like that i was using react and i was using material ui but when i joined my company my company use uses view and tailwind so i learned view and i learned tailwind like i didn't it was even like i learned them like it was very easy to pick up because i had understood the fundamentals already so picking up new things became like very easy all right in the beginning Beginning is kind of like you know a steep learning curve but once you get into the flow of picking up something like picking up new skills becomes like very easy because you already know how to learn them right yeah so if you can do all of this learn these frameworks and all and all that i would recommend building maybe an e-commerce website a dashboard you know something more complicated uh, more useful rather than the you know to do up and things that you did before but something more realistic something more useful um, you can come up with ideas on the project to build and like build projects and things then you you know get familiar with um these tools git and github get familiar with them commit your code on github you know show it around to people and people who have time to look at it don't just you know don't send me a link to your code that i should look at it i'll probably not do that <laughs> i'm not saying that you do but i'm just saying show it to people who have time to look at it or something i feel like if you've done all this you are almost ready to get a job basically uh some companies require you to know data structures and algorithms because that's what they'll ask you you know when you do technical interviews so you might want to spend some time learning those things but that's not the main focus of this video we can talk about data structures and algorithms later but today i focus on front end um build make sure that you build all of these projects that you're building you can show put them on your resume but for like projects that you really want to put in your resume and like your portfolio and stuff you should be intentional about building them build like something that's impressive real world things okay useful things and people are going to be impressed by it and like when they see it and all that right yeah that's it that's it there's so much that you can learn but these are the things i'm going to talk about right now okay it's 1 30 a.m i've tried i recorded a one hour video only to realize that the video stopped recording after like 30 seconds so this is my second try i i said today i must record today today day i must record so i've recorded the video it's been a while um but yeah it's good to be back and there's more i can talk about there's about front end there's more stuff i can mention there's more detail i can go into but like a wise man once said if i do everything right now what would i do what would i do later <laughs> what would i do in the subsequent videos if you don't get it forget about it thank you so much i'll see you next time Bye-bye.